Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Let's take a good look at this picture. Can you believe that these pictures were taken in the exact same spot, but 50 years apart? Do you see the difference? What if you look at them side by side? Oh, there's so much ice and snow. This is a picture of a glacier. But what was once a huge glacier in one picture is a tiny one in the other. And this is evidence of climate change. Climate change refers to the change in climate patterns like temperature, snowfall, rainfall, or wind speed in an area over time. For example, 25,000 years ago, the United States was covered in ice. Who? that's crazy to think about. In the United States, we mostly have a warmer climate. We also have a lot fewer glaciers than we used to. The term global climate is often used when we talk about climate change. Global climate refers to the long-term changes seen across the planet. So if the United States is no longer covered in ice, it must have warmed up, right? Right. The Earth's average temperature has increased much more quickly in the past 150 years than it has in any given period before that. While some parts of the Earth are warming faster than others, the planet's temperature has increased by 2 degrees Fahrenheit in the last 100 years alone. That might not seem like a big deal, but for that to happen across the entire planet? Well, 2 degrees is a lot. And the past five years have been the worst in terms of changes. In fact, they have been the warmest in hundreds and hundreds of years, according to scientists. Well, that might seem great to us, because we have lots of sunny days on the beach, right? Well, not so much. Global warming has a lot of negative effects as well. Sea levels are rising. Glaciers are shrinking. Ice is melting in Antarctica quicker than before. And crops are ripening at different times making it unreliable for farmers to provide us with food. Warmer weather also causes hurricanes and other extreme weather conditions, such as droughts and heat waves in uncommon locations like Norway and Russia, even in Antarctica. When the whole planet's temperature changes by just a single degree or two, that can affect the entire Earth. And I don't just mean the planet. I also mean all of the life on it, including plants animals, and humans. Some are dying, some are migrating. Many people are concerned about how warm the Earth is getting. And scientists have been studying this to find out how we can help. Some humans are even trying to find a way to help the plants and animals survive the climate changes they're facing. In fact, some animals and plants are becoming endangered or even extinct because they don't have what they need to survive. Check the difference here. An endangered animal or plant is under threat of dying off, while an extinct one has completely died off already. Like the woolly mammoths. There are so many things that contribute to the planet's climate. Scientists know that in the past 50 to 100 years, a lot of the climate change has been due to human activity. We're building up pollution inside of our atmosphere. Imagine that. Our atmosphere is really important. You can think of it as a blanket of gases which surrounds our planet. When certain heat-trapping gases, such as CO2, get released in the atmosphere, it causes a warming in our planet. So the more of these gases, otherwise known as pollution, that we give off into the atmosphere, the more the temperature will increase. Scientists call this the greenhouse effect. It's one of the most common phrases used when talking about global climate change. Uh, and have you heard of the word deforestation before? Deforestation is when we chop down a large amount of trees to turn them into lumber in order to build things or in order to use the forest land to build houses, roads, and factories. Over time, we've been chopping down more and more trees, and that has been very bad news for climate change. Trees act like nature's sponge and absorb all the carbon dioxide or pollution in their environment on average, a tree absorbs 50 pounds of carbon dioxide each year. And as we cut them down, we lose their natural cooling effect. And in many places, forests are cleared through burning. And that releases all the stored up carbon back into the air. 
Trees literally protect us from climate change, yet deforestation is something we are experiencing. So it's safe to say that humans are playing a major role towards global warming. And this is really important to understand because the entire world, oceans, land, our atmosphere, all plant and animal life are connected to one another. All of these things come together to give us our global climate. So we have one giant system working together. And if we're not careful and one thing fails, like our atmosphere being polluted, the rest of the earth is affected. Things like recycling, using less plastic, walking or biking instead of driving a car, eating less meat. All of these are great examples of ways that people can help limit pollution. And if we limit pollution, we also limit the amount of gas we're putting into our atmosphere, which will stop our global climate from getting warmer. It'll take a lot of effort. But if we all work together, we can fight climate change and work to make the world a better place. Come on, on to the next video.